Arthur, does it help to have someone to talk to? What's up, guys? This is The Real, and in this trailer review, we're going to look at the upcoming film, The Joker. Now, before we even get into the trailer, I want to talk about the choice of actor, Joaquin Phoenix. I think he's a good choice for this type of character, and he has also shown his ability to deliver in a wide range of roles. His performance in Gladiator. You loved my father, I know. But so did I. Walk the line. This isn't about a tour, this isn't about a song. Bigfoot. And inherent vice were excellent. Smashed on my door. Come on. I'm confident that he'll be able to deliver in terms of performance as Arthur. But the key question here is, can he also deliver as the Joker? Okay, now let's get into the trailer. I really like the look of this trailer, the filter. It doesn't really feel like part of the DC universe. It has an almost gritty vibe to it. I find it interesting how the origin sets Arthur as a middle-aged man going through some form of almost middle-aged crisis of character. He also seems to be behind socially, financially and clearly down on his luck. Okay, now I just want to pull it back a few scenes to this interesting shot here. Now we can see that Arthur's writing out a list of jokes. Now near the bottom of the page, that all changes. The worst part about having a mental illness is that people expect you to behave as if you don't. Now this line is very powerful because it shows how his character has this form of social pressure to act like everyone else, to be almost normal. This is intensified further due to his job as a clown. Where he needs to be funny, he needs to entertain, he needs to make people laugh which is a complete polar opposite of how he truly feels. I also like his version of the iconic Joker laugh, a very close resemblance to Mark Hamill's version, which is my personal favourite. Now I'm sure over time, Arthur realises that the only person he truly needs to make smile is himself. I also like how the choice of song has a feel good factor to it, while at the same time the visuals running over the song are quite dark. This contrast between the two can be likened to how Arthur's mind works, in contrast to others, and more importantly, finding humour in situations that others don't. My first impressions of the look of the Joker was mixed. Now I know over time it might grow on me and also that it's an origin story. So I'm sure that throughout the course of the film his look will develop and grow. I just hope that he doesn't turn into a Christian Bale's Batman. A great Bruce Wayne and an average Dark Knight. 